Have you ever thought to yourself, you know what would be cool? Being able to play Minecraft Java Edition with a controller. In the same way that you can play Bedrock Edition with a controller. Well, if you ever thought that, you're not alone. Because it for sure sounds really cool for people who prefer to play with a controller. And what have I told you? It is 100% possible. With the use of an amazing Minecraft mod. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how it all works. Make sure to subscribe. You would help me out a crazy lot. This mod is called Controllify. And like the name might suggest... It it adds controller support to Minecraft Java Edition. Now, every single time I stumble upon a mod like this, it is either extremely hard to set up or just plain out doesn't work. But not with this one. It is so easy to get working, it is actually insane. So all the mods you want to install to get this working are Controllify, of course, the Fabric API, Mod Menu, which is going to be very, very useful to change and tweak some settings. And then last but not least, the yet another config library. I will leave a link to all of these mods in the description down below. So now I'm gonna grab my controller. I have an Xbox Elite controller here. I'm simply gonna plug it into my PC. There we go. Many features in Controllify require an extra library that needs to be downloaded for your system. Now you can just click on yes here. You won't be sent to any web page whatsoever. You're just gonna click on yes. The download will start and there we go. It's finished already. Now what the mod is gonna do is calibrate your controller. This calibration optimizes your controller settings to remove stick drift. So in case your controllers are experiencing some type of stick drift already, calibrating the this might solve it. So you just want to place down your controller flat on the surface and then we're going to click on ready and we will wait for a bit and there we go. Calibration complete. You can now use your controller. So I'm not going to be touching my keyboard and mouse at all. I'm just going to move my joystick and like you can see, I am able to control the entire game with just using my Xbox controller. And there we go. <laughs> This is so weird. So even though the top right it says, look around, use your mouse to turn. I am already looking around, but not with my mouse. No, no, no. So I don't play a lot of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I have no clue if the controls are actually the same. But from what I can tell and from what I know, they pretty much are. So I'm now just walking. When I press in my left joystick, I will start running. To start sneaking, we will press in the right joystick. So there we go. Now I'm sneaking very sneaky with the right trigger i can punch blocks with the left trigger i can place blocks if i do have any blocks which i don't how do i open my inventory uh inventory is y there we go so this might look very familiar for bedrock players as it essentially is the same thing so with the joystick i can just freely move around but as soon as i let go of the joystick it will lock in on the block that i have selected but i can also use the d-pad then it will just jump from one to the other block it is really cool and then with the left trigger, I can place them just like that. With LB and RB, I can change my hold bar position. So I can basically select another item. And then LT, RT will allow me to actually place them. Which is exactly how it works on Bedrock. Okay, can I make this jump? Let me try to make this jump. Huh? Yes. <laughs> By the way, if I double press A, I should be able to fly. Yeah, there we go. I'm flying. Look at that. Now, this mod actually has something very cool, and that is the radial menu. So when I press the right button on my D-pad, it will open a very cool looking menu. It even has a sound effect. And over here, you have the ability to choose all sorts of actions that you usually have a button for on your keyboard. So we got toggle HUD visibility, we got change perspective, drop stack, open the chat, swap hands, pick block, take screenshots, and then show player list. So when I do, for example, change perspective, you can see, there we go. And when I do that once again, it will be this. Hi, how you doing? Dropping a whole stack is usually done with control Q. So that is why it has a shortcut here. Showing the player list is usually done with tab. Taking a screenshot is F2. And swap hands, aka putting an item in your offhand, that is usually done with the F button. So I have to say, this is a very cool and intuitive way to implement these actions with a controller. It is super easy to use and everything is really responsive. It's not gonna take long at all. It can, you, can, you can do this quickly. If you get used to it, it should be no problem or issue at all. So when we go to the mods tab on the Minecraft main menu, then we select Controllify and we go to settings you're able to change some settings over here.
here. So first of all, you can see every single controller that's connected, which currently is only my Xbox controller. But when we click on settings, you're actually able to change all sorts of stuff here. So from the sensitivity to some control options, like should sprint be a toggle or do you need to hold it, which is going to be awful. Don't do that. You're also able to enable auto jump here. And this is a very fun one. The no fly drifting. So if you've ever played Bad Rock Edition of Minecraft, you might have noticed that if you let go of your controller and you're flying, you will stop immediately. While on Java Edition, you will drift a little further. Well, if you enable this, you will also not drift on Java Edition anymore. Now here we got the dead zones for my joysticks. So currently the left one is on 9%, this one on 12. This is what the mod has automatically determined when we did the little test at the start. I would not recommend changing this unless you have some kind of issue. Now, if your controller supports vibrations, which it most likely does, you're able to enable them here. And of course, if you want, you can completely customize your controls. So everything from the pass menu to placing blocks, breaking blocks, selecting items, toggle the chat, whatever it may be, you can change everything here. It is really cool. I want to thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. It would really help me out a crazy lot. Also, a huge thank you to my channel members for the incredible support. Thank you guys so much. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.